brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you in Jesus' name. Today's reflection is based on Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. And here, Jesus is telling us to love our neighbor and love our enemies. Sometimes it is very difficult, you know. So we can love our neighbor if they are good, but if they are not good, oh, we cannot love. And enemies, how can we love? Because enemies would have created so much of problem to us. And we can never <coughs> even love them. And some people only curse them. My dear brothers and sisters, the teachings of Jesus Christ is amazing. And the teachings of Jesus Christ is not only for Christian community, it is for the whole world. Love one another. That's what again Jesus said in Mark chapter 12, verse 30 and 31. Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. When we love God with all our heart, <coughs> with all our mind, with all our soul, and strength, there is no place for devil. There is no place for anger, hatred, vengeance, grudges, enmity, <coughs> because a heart is filled with love. Her mind is filled with love. That is why Mother Teresa was able to love the poorest of the poor. I was very close to Mother Teresa. And when Mother Teresa was alive, she used to call me to give retreats for my sisters. I used to go to Calcutta to give retreats at least twice in a year. Even Mother Teresa used to sit and attend the retreat. And I was invited to Vatican to attend the canonization ceremony. So Mother Teresa was filled with love because she loved God with all her heart, with all her mind, with all her soul. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to love one another. When we love one another, our heart must be filled with God's love. With God's love. Today as I am talking to you, the Russia has invaded Ukraine. There's a major war going on. The NATO and America, and they're preparing to hit Russia back. You know why all these things are happening? Russia is not able to love Ukraine. Ukraine is not able to love Russia. In the same way, every country is fighting because there's no love, no God's love. Today, husband and wife are hating each other. In-laws are hating each other. Neighbors are hating each other because <laughs> there is no God's love. If I love God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, I tell you, I'll be able to love everybody. So if you want to <laughs> love everyone in this world and take away that anger, pride, grudges, enmity, unforgiving nature, we should start loving God. We should start obeying God. And that is why the Holy Bible says, when you ask, the Lord will fill you with the Holy Spirit and you will receive gifts of the Holy Spirit and fruits of the Holy Spirit. So what are the fruits of the Holy Spirit? You can read in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 onwards. There it talks about the nature of the flesh and the fruits of the evil spirit. So when you are not having Holy Spirit, how the evil, evil spirit can use you to become wicked. And if you are filled by the Holy Spirit, you know what all the fruits you can get? The Bible says you will have love, you will have joy, you will have peace, you will have patience, you will have kindness, you will have goodness, you will have faithfulness, you will have gentleness, you will have self-control. When we have these spirit, fruits of the Spirit, what a nice person you'll be. You will be a living saint. <laughs> Today, people don't have self-control. That's why they get angry. That's why they murder. That's why they fight. And many people have no self-control over eating, no self-control over sexual feeling, no self-control over many, many things. But if you, the Holy Spirit guides you, oh, you will have control. In every area of life. And that Holy Spirit will help you to love God and love the people. 
and have joy, have peace, and have patience. Now shall we pray that the Lord may bless you, and the Lord may anoint you in such a way the Holy Spirit may come upon you and so that you will be a very good person wherever you go. Lord, dear Heavenly Father, I surrender all the brothers and sisters who are online. Lord, you spoke about negative emotion. We should love our neighbors, love our enemies. It's so difficult. But Lord, I pray that you may fill them with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with the fruits of the Holy Spirit so that they may have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Please anoint them with these fruits, Lord. Anoint them with the fruit of the Holy Spirit so that they may become wonderful people. Bless them. Bless their children. Please bless their children. They should honor their parents, love their parents, and respect their parents. Bless their family. Bless their finance. If somebody is sick, in Jesus' name, I pray. Let them receive the healing in their body, mind, and soul. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, Amen and Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, if you want to listen to more talks of mine, you can go to YouTube. My name is Dr. Jayanand, J-A-Y-A-N-D. And you will have many more talks and you can listen to that. God bless you and have a blessed day.